Hey, John. Rich, what do you got here today? Uh, this is the Siemens uh, Synamics S210 uh, servo platform. But, uh, what's the story with, uh, with S210? Uh, the S210, um, they're available in uh, single phase 230 and uh, three phase 230 and 460, um, 50 watt through 7 kilowatt. Oh, big range, nice. Okay. So what uh, what what are kind of the, the shining features as far as when you look at this this solution versus other solutions in the market? What are kind of the things that make this stand out? Um, Siemens one cable connection, I think, is uh, is a big one. Okay. Uh, one cable for both power and for uh, encoder uh, connection. Okay. Yeah, that, that's 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 nice and easy to wire up. Um, the S two tens also have a built in uh, web server. Okay. For uh, you can configure them through uh, the web server, uh, mainly for diagnostic, uh, fault indication, things like that. Okay, all right. So, uh, so you can actually, you don't need any software. You can dive into the diagnostics of the drive just through a web server. You don't have to have software installed on your PC to be able to get that information. That's correct. Oh, very nice, very nice, okay. Uh, you know, topic, a popular topic today is safety. You know, what, what about safety control of these motors? The S210 uh, comes with built-in uh, basic safety, okay. um, safe torque off, safe speed, um, safe brake controller. Okay. And what about the control of that? Is, that? is that something that I need to hardwire a safety relay? Can I do it over a network? How does that work out? Uh, both. You can do both, again, for basic safety. Um, advanced safety would require a license, but uh, basic safety is built in. Okay. All right. So, so I, could, I, could, I could use this in an application where I'm doing safety strictly over a safety relay, or I could also use a safety PLC and do it over the network as well. Either or. Either or. Correct. Okay. All right. And um, I noticed these motors are pretty small. Uh, that, that's kind of an interesting form factor. What, uh, what's the situation as far as the, the motors and, and various options available with those? Okay. Um, you must use the 1FK2 series motor with the S210. So what about other motor options? You know, a lot of times you know, there's mechanical needs, there's you know, protection needs. What, 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 what Siemens doing there? Uh, Siemens just came out with uh, gearbox um, offerings for the S210, uh, the 1FK2 motors. Okay. Um, and in the future, they're gonna come out with, uh, they're looking at uh, stainless steel for uh, food and beverage applications. Nice, there's a, there's a need for that for sure. I hear, I hear a lot about the need for stainless steel and wash down applications and things like that. So exciting to hear about, uh, about that, that construction coming out here in the near future. Uh, when it comes to the overall control, you know, there's gotta be a motion controller in there somewhere. Where, where, does, where does that stand in the, in the portfolio? Correct, uh, the S210s are paired with the S7 1500 PLCs. Um, it's a Profinet connection. Um, the drives have a built-in two-port switch uh, for the Profinet connection. Um, they can coexist uh, on an Ethernet network as well. Okay. So, okay. So, so Profinet is not a closed network type of system. It is. It is open Ethernet. Correct. Profinet uh, includes an uh, application level for uh, emotion applications on an Ethernet platform. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And as far as the software is concerned, is, is there separate tools for, for you know, the configuration of the drives, for the programming of the PLC, for the HMI? How, how does that work out? Uh, this is done through TIA Portal, which is all in one, totally integrated. Um, it's all done, uh, shared tags. Um, it uh, mu very much simplifies uh, creating your application. Okay, all right, nice, nice. Now, Siemens has always had that standby, you know, we're talking about the S210 uh, servo drive. Siemens has always had that long time standby S120 solution. Uh, is this gonna replace that or where, where does that stand? Uh, this is not replacing the S120. Um, the S120 is uh, more of a multi-drive application. Um, there is a single drive, uh, option for that as well, but that's still going to uh, be around. Um, the S210 is uh, going to be alongside that. Um, it's simplified in the cabling and in the number of parts. Um, as long as it fits within the size, motor size of your application, um, the S210 uh, can do just about everything that the S120 can do. Um, medium size applications, the S120 you might have to go to if it's a um, a larger size or a higher demand application. Gotcha. So I, I got to get above that 7KW. You know, might have higher end needs as far as you know tuning and application and things like that. I might still use the S120, but this is going to fit a lot of the, the that medium 
application. That's correct. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what about when it comes to selecting the pieces and parts? You know, when you, you put a motion control system together, there's the drive, there's the motor, there's the cabling. You know, I, what, what, what do you do to put that all together? Uh, that, that can be done through a TIA selection tool. Um, the selection tool allows you to create motion profiles and helps you in selecting the motor size, pairing it with the one cable connection to the drive, the drive sizing, and even through the, uh, the PLC and an HMI. Okay, so I can start with my mechanical information, put that in and it spits out a bill of material on the other end so I don't pick those out of the catalog. That's correct. Nice, nice. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time and uh, look forward to, uh, to using a lot of S210 in the future. Yeah, sounds thanks. good. Thanks, Rich.